On this episode of Almost Fama, I'm bringing you some of the stories you might have missed. I'm giving you a dose of happiness and an interview with Jordan Rudis of Dream Theater. All this is coming up right now. everyone, welcome to Almost Fama. I'm your host, Jess Fama. Let's not waste any time. Let's kick off the show with some news that you might have overlooked. In case you missed it, California metalcore band As I Lay Dying has emerged with their original lineup, released a new song titled My Own Grave, and played its first comeback show on June 16th. It was the band's first live appearance since 2013. The band's return has been met with lots of controversy and many questions as vocalist Tim Lambesis was incarcerated in 2014 after pleading guilty to paying a police officer who was posing as a hitman $1,000 to kill his wife. The five members of As I Lay Dying released a video addressing some hot topics including their return to music together and how they reconnected following Lambesis' return from prison. In case you missed it, on June 9th a massive fire broke out at the Aberdeen Museum of History in Aberdeen, Washington. The museum had an entire collection dedicated to the Aberdeen native Kurt Cobain of Nirvana. New artwork was installed just last year to commemorate what would have been Cobain's 50th birthday. Some installments included pieces of Cobain's personal collection, including his original artwork. In case you missed it, the he said, she said, break out that lie detector test. Oh no, you didn't. I want a paternity test. Show has been canceled. Yes, after 27 seasons and 17 years, the Jerry Springer show is being canceled. Jerry Springer said, when you reach this age, it's a year-to-year -year basis, saying he can't wait to spend more time with his grandchildren. He commented on our show, The Bad Guys Lose and The Good Guys Win, calling episodes like Little Morality Plays. But don't worry too much, CW will continue to air reruns. In case you missed it, Metallica has been awarded with the Polar Music Prize for 2018. It is one of the most distinguished and unique music prizes in the world, awarded to individuals, groups, and institutions in recognition of exceptional achievements. Drummer Lars Ulrich accepted the award, saying, Who would have thought that when Metallica started 37 years ago, that one day we'd be standing in front of both musical royalty and actual royalty, accepting one of the most prestigious prizes that can be bestowed upon musicians. Metallica are donating the prize money to charity. In case you missed it, Jurassic World scientist Dr. Wu is at it again. He paired dinosaur DNA with that of Doritos DNA, resulting in a one-foot oversized nacho cheese flavored chip. Only 100 of the giant Doritos have been created. If you are lucky enough to win one, the chip arrives hiding inside a replica dinosaur egg nestled within a giant metal Jurassic Doritos crate with a certificate of authenticity. Two ways to win? Go to Twitter and tweet at Doritos with hashtags Jurassic Doritos and entry. Or go to JurassicDoritos.com and bid on one. All the proceeds go to the American Red Cross chapter in Hawaii, where most of the locations of the Jurassic movies were filmed. The world is full of enough hate and sad news, so I always want to make sure to highlight the good that's out there. Because a little happy can go a long way. So this is Almost Famous Happy Spot, where I highlight a happy story, people, or organizations that are doing some good out there, or just something to make you smile. In case you haven't heard of them, I want to bring this to the attention of all of my musically inclined friends and viewers so you can hopefully get involved. Musicians on Call is a nonprofit organization that recruits volunteer instrumentalists to play music for sick patients in 80 different hospitals across the United States. Artists such as Kelly Clarkson, Pharrell, Keith Urban, and Nick Jonas are just a few of the celebrity participants. The music is not just beneficial for mental health of patients, it's also good for physical health. Studies have shown that listening to or playing along with music can alleviate symptoms of depression, anxiety, dementia, and stress. As a result, music therapy patients experience lower blood pressure, better respiratory rates, and be less distressed by pain. If you would like to donate an instrument or volunteer your time, you can check out their website at musiciansoncall.org. This happy spot was brought to you by Hot Box Yoga. Located in the heart of Hollywood, it's where rock and roll and yoga collide to offer you a unique workout. And they have free parking. So get hot and get your sweat on, get rid of those toxins, and feel happy. Visit hotboxyogarocks.com to view the schedule and book your class today. 
and make sure you tell them you heard it on Almost Fama for 10% off your first visit. It's interview time! This episode, I'm pulling from the vault. Backstage at the Hall of Heavy Metal History Awards, I got a chance to speak with Jordan Brutus, keyboardist and composer from Dream Theater, after he accepted his award. Okay. No, Second yeah. year it's happening, and here you really? are. You're already yeah. getting inducted into wow. this. Really, really cool. It I'm, is really I'm cool. I'm honored. I'm flattered. You've been in Dream yeah. Theater now. Well, Dream Theater in general has been going on now for well over 25 years. Oh, I yeah, mean, totally. Made and I've been with them for about 20 years now. 20 years. Yeah. Isn't that Incredible. crazy? How many I'm bands last that by. long? It's not that many, Well, that's you know? amazing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's due to so many different factors. I mean, it's like, you know, the chemistry between the guys is certainly a big part of it. Just, you know, the bands out there supporting it. And, of right. course, you know, the circle that goes beyond the band, which is like the management and the agents and all that. Right. Kind of keeping this business, you know, alive and okay. It's but to go you know. through literally generations mm -hmm. of sound, of the yeah. way music has been recorded. Right. And right. I want to talk about that because of your other company. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Wisdom music well, with a Z, with All a right. Z. Awesome. Um, when I read about it, I just thought it was like really cool because you guys are trying to push the boundaries of everything that is right, music right. for yes. the tools that people are using. I guess I should say, right? Is that Definitely. accurate? Definitely, that's okay. totally what it is. Yeah, a while back when I had my first iPhone, multi-touch screen. I was running my hand on it, and it was just making some really ridiculous sound, but I had some ideas for what it really could do, and how to use that for kind of the next level of musical expression. Cool. And so that's kind of like the reason I started the company and what it's turned into, a way to, a way to create musical instruments for like, in some cases, everybody to make music, and also professionals, but offer something that they've never seen before. Right. That's why it's kind of wizardry. So know? how yeah. do you come up with these sorts of things? Like, give me one idea, I guess, of like what what you've created to help push those boundaries. So, uh, like, my latest app is called GeoShred. Okay. And it's uh, and I could even show everybody. Let's it's do really, it. Really come on, you got it on your phone. We know you do. I'll hold this. Yeah. So what it is? It's um, it's a very cool app. And if I call it up here, here it is. GeoShred Play. So uh, what's really cool is that you're able to have whatever scale you want on the playing surface, but while you have that, you can do all these almost like Steve Vias kind oh. of slide. Wow. All right, we got to get this. Hold on. We got to get this yeah. right in here. We'll do it this way. Tell yeah. Me, tell me when we're nice and close we to nice the, camera. the camera. Here? Let me do a little backing little track. Just a touch. Get the microphone on this thing. Higher. Right, I'll turn the volume up too. Here we go. <laughs> Raise it a little bit. Perfect. <laughs> That's insane. So you get the idea. Okay, yeah. Right. So there's also like the ability to do like feedback. You can hear it. Wow. So to offer something that'll do do something musical that you couldn't do on anything else, and to make it something that a lot of people could enjoy, because in this case you can just slide your finger over the thing and. I'm doing it. Look, guys, if I if I can do it. <laughs> you get a really cool blues scale going. Right, exactly. I just sounded exactly. cool on the guitar. Cool. <laughs> and actually, it is a guitar because it's a physically modeled guitar. It's, that's the engine. So yeah, so that's the kind of thing I do with the apps. All right, I'm gonna give you this back now. Yep. How many so, instruments do you have at your house? I don't even Approximately. know. Approximately. I have so many keyboards, and a lot <laughs> of them are on the road and storage out on the road here, there, everywhere. I probably have about, I don't know, 70 keyboards. Wow. Like, and when you go out, places. when you're out with Dream Theater, how many keyboards do you actually have when you're touring? Well, I take a lot of keyboards with me only in the sense that there's a lot of backup instruments. Right. So I use a, uh, an 88 note Korg Kronos, which has been like my like workhorse. It's like so steady and secure. Knock on wood somewhere that stays there. <laughs> but it will. And then, um, so I have that, but I have backups with me because Dream okay. Theater can't afford to, you know, have like the keyboard go down and like tell the audience, well, we can't do a show yeah. tonight because we're like, <laughs> the keyboard is not working, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so there's keyboards. But but my main uh, focus on stage is on the chord Kronos. And then I have an iPad and I have my apps like 
the Geo Shred thing That's there. That's crazy what we can do, do with music now, I right? Know. And then I have an incredible instrument that I had uh, something to do with as well. It's called a Seaboard. Thanks. It's great. So I play that as well. And then I have um, what we call, it used to be the Zen Riffer, uh, and now I call it the Eye Riffer. It used to be like a guitar kind of thing, okay. which was very, very fun. Yep. But now my tech, the amazing Keith Wexler, he took shout my, uh, yeah, shout out. He <laughs> took the my iPad Pro, took out the keyboard, ripped it out, and then put that in there. And so now I go on stage and I'm playing this cool looking thing, but it's the iPad Pro. Whoa. Yeah, fun. But that's fun really stuff. cool. So yeah. he basically hooked it up, so... You're really playing out of the iPad, but you're yes, yes, mocking but like you're on a but keyboard. It's a, but it's, well, it has just a cool shape to it. That's the, you know. Like right. A, right. But really, it's just the playing surface of the iPad Pro. You have talked about in interviews before, one last question before I let you go, um, about improvising and how important it is to be able to improvise. Yeah, and right, right. I just wanted you to talk about that for a second because sure. I feel like there are so many bands that are afraid to go off the beaten path like newer bands you know mm. like they're a little bit afraid of that and right. I don't think that they should be because you yeah. never know what might come out of that right. so well, I just wanted to true. so first of all like Dream Theater in itself is not really an improvisational band although over the years we've been known to do some things like that we're more a kind of as a whole we're more a kind of band that has a show we play the show but stepping away a little bit from from the dream theater as a whole when i play my parts right. there's a lot of parts in there that are maybe comping or doing things that i'll play differently every night and i'll play different leads every night except for some things that i know that the audience needs to hear a certain way right, right. and other things that i just want to play a different way every night it's a good challenge for me so that's the dream theater and thing. of course after 20 years of playing the same thing yeah yeah like, you want to play it a little yeah. bit differently <laughs> But, um, but myself as a musician, I value improvisation so much. I used to go in, at Juilliard, I used to sneak into the practice rooms because it wasn't really like allowed then. Oh, they didn't like that. Right. I would go and like do boogie woogie and like blues and stuff like on my own. But I think improvisation is such an important, such a great thing to be able to do. And I just love it so much. Awesome. And a lot of my compositions just come out of improvisations. A, a wonderful cellist friend of mine told me years ago, he says, Jordan, you throw away more great music than some people write in their whole lives. <laughs> I was like, well, I don't know. I just like to play. You know, I could sit down all day and just make up whatever yeah. and just not even think about it. Just so come and write, I'm not write worried from, that yeah. something else isn't going to come out of me. <laughs> right. You know, so. No writer's block, as it were. No what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep knocking on that. Yeah, keep knocking. I hope this is what and not I plaster. I don't wood. know. <laughs> <laughs> or plaster, or whatever, yeah. Totally. Awesome. Well, I'm really excited for you tonight to be inducted. Oh, it's going to be really fun to watch. And I just want to say thank you so much thank for so taking much. some time and talking with awesome. me. Awesome. Okay. Jordan Rudis, check him out in Dream Theater. And make sure you go check out his wisdom, wisdom, wisdom music, music yeah. Geo you guys. Geo Shred on the App Store. Check it out. Okay. Right. So make sure you download one of the many amazing Wisdom Music apps that Jordan has helped to create, including Geo Shred, Morph Wiz, Sketch Wiz, Geo Synthesizer, and many more. You can see Jordan this upcoming fall for the Aldi Miola Opus Tour and check out jordanbrutus.com for dates. Normally, this is where I would say goodbye and where I would end my show, but I'm asking for just a moment, please. David Spade made a $100,000 donation to the National Alliance on Mental Health Illness, the largest mental health organization in the United States, after the death of his sister-in-law, Kate Spade. But that's not really what this moment is entirely about. Kate Spade, John Paul Stewart, Avicii, Chester Bennington, Robin Williams, Anthony Bourdain, and Chris Cornell are just some of the famous names you probably recognize from the past few years who have taken their own life. I'm not trying to get too heavy here. I'm just asking that we all take a moment to listen to your family and friends. Sometimes people are screaming to be heard, but no one hears them. An ear to listen, a shoulder to lean on, is sometimes all someone needs. Sometimes they need more. We get so consumed and wrapped up in our own lives, we forget to sometimes really ask and really listen to those closest to us because we think we know them so well. Bringing it back to David Spade and his statement to People Magazine asking about his donation, I think he said it right. More people suffer from mental health issues than we may realize, but no one should ever feel ashamed to reach out for support. If you or anyone you know is in need of help or guidance, please contact the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 800 800- 273-8255 or go to nami.org to learn more and help those who may be in need. Thank you for that moment and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get notifications for new shows and go ahead and watch past ones too. I'm Jess Fama, this has been Almost Fama and until next time, pass along the happiness.
Please hang up and try again.